Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am getting ready to go to Rhinebeck, um, which is a sheep and wool festival in New York. I'm about to take the half an hour drive it takes to get there, and I'm going to take you along with me. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head, try to listen instead, won't you? Welcome to Rhinebeck Day 2. Um, today we're heading back for a little bit more of exploration and we're just checking out of our Airbnb so I'll check in with you guys when I get there. for is the yarny goods anything I bought from any vendors that actually do sell online I'll just link down below go check them out starting with a new project bag this is from this is from Mad Rooter um, I have a couple of their back project bags already um, it's small it's a sock size I wanted a project bag that clips and I can clip it to my bag when I'm um, going to work because I end up running out of pants. So this is the first project bag I got. Next stop I made for non yarn type purchases but still kind of yarn purchases was Cottontail Farms. They got they had skein wranglers there. I got, got a couple of them. They were really cute. This one is an outdoorsy type one. It's got little bears and squirrels and trees on it which gives me a little bit of a New England fall vibe without being like too fall colored, if that makes sense. And then this one is a cheetah flower birdie print. Really cute and it was green, which is my favorite color, so I couldn't resist. And also from them, I saw this little piggy. It's meant for when you're spinning. But I've seen people use it to actually hold like a little skein of yarn when you're like walking around the house or you're attaching it to your bag when you're leaving the house. And I've been working on a lot of socks, which for me require just one skein. Um, so I thought this was cute and it would fit. So that's what I got. Then I got this little Notions pouch. It's got little, little kitty cats on it. It's really cute and it's got little clip on it so you can clip it project bag purse somewhere in your purse in that way 
Don't lose the notions. I just loves the cats. And then the last purchase from Cottontail Farms was this little cute cat project bag. What I really liked about this was it comes up and then you can kind of just pull it closed. So if your project extends farther than the bag allots for, you still have a ton of room and your project is still safe and secure. Last but not least, what I got for yarn. So going into it, I didn't want to buy a lot of yarn. My goal it was to buy mostly notions and project bags, stuff like that. Um, I got a lot of yarn um, and I don't feel bad about it. So I stopped by a couple different vendors to get yarn from, starting with Miss Babs. I heard her colorway for the shows is usually really pretty. This did not disappoint. It is so pretty. I believe it's called Harvest Plenty is what it says on the tag. Um, so pretty. So I'm probably going to use this in a shawl with a bunch of other colors that I picked up at the fair also from her booth. Um, I also picked up Mystery Girl. And this is all in her, her Putnam base. It is a 75-25 um, merino nylon blend. It's really pretty. And then I got Batshit Crazy. Also super pretty. Deep Sea Jellyfish. Her colors are just top notch. Zombie Prom. And the last one I picked up from her was Tara. It's a gris greeny blue color, which I think will look really pretty all together in a shawl because I love shawls. I also stopped by a hundred, a hundred ravens. New diet, also new to me dyer. Um, this one's called Said the Joker to the Thief. Um, super pretty fall colors, yet again. Kind of addicted to them right this second. Love them a lot. So I think all of those yarns are going to go into a shawl for me. And the goal is to maybe make it for next year's fair and that way I can wear it. I think it'd be really cool. The next booth I stopped by was Bumblebee Acres for yarn. Now this is just for socks. I really like the colors they come up with and they had a bunch of the colors I saw online that I wanted. Um, this one is in their, I believe it's their bubble sock base, which really soft, really pretty. It is a uh, merino silk blend. It's a two ply. And this one's called Pennywise the Dancing Clown. I am into a little bit of horror. I have seen the movie It. So I figured, why not? I liked the yarn. Next one is this one. called I believe it's called, yeah, Prom Queen. Um, this one's inspired, I believe, from Carrie. And these colors are just so pretty. Didn't scream horror movie to me. But I love them nonetheless. So this will also be a sock for me. And the last sock base sock I picked up for myself was this. Um, it's from their Studio Ghibli release. They brought like I believe their extras with them. Um, and this is Chichuro from Spirited Away. Just recently did a watch along like marathon with all of the movies with my boyfriend where we watched it over a, co a couple weeks all the Studio Ghibli movies. It's a lot of fun and then since my boyfriend came with me I had him pick out yarn that he wanted so this is the Iron Throne House of Dragon inspired I do not watch it but he loves dark colors it's one of his favorite shows so he picked it out and he asked for a pair of socks so this is what I will be making for him and that is what 
I was able to get the run back for this year. I'm really happy with all my purchases. If you want to know when my next video goes live, please press the subscribe button. If you want to see what I'm up to and what I'm knitting, I'm usually very active daily on Instagram. I post almost daily, if not every other day. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.